Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to do this weekly update because this is the big week for us, at least. One of our biggest weeks we've had. We've got Pichon Cup 5 with possibly Luis Cha attending. We've got Karachi versus Lahore starting on Thursday, which is going to be live streamed from Twitch. We've got Diaz in Dubai for LDA Fight Night Dubai. <laughs> We've got all those three things going on pretty much the same time. Um, I have to say, uh, my first time yesterday watching final round, watching Street Fighter Five, uh, was that fun? Was that the final round stream yesterday? And I must say, I was uh, pleasantly impressed with how Street Fighter Five plays. It looks kind of like Alpha with a mixture of Third Strike, so it actually looks different. How it's played, refreshing to see how there's so many different styles that can be played. I, I I like what I saw, so there's something we will consider consider adding to the future. Watching how that 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 what went. It reminded me of the last time, or you know, we were at Final Round when Street Fighter Four came out, and the I guess the year after that when Kale Thirteen launched. I mean, it's it's, it's kind of like it's that breath of fresh air back again into the fighting game community with Street Fighter Five. So people are back playing Street Fighter Five Vanilla, and uh, then now Kale Fourteen is about to come out. So we anticipate being at Final Round next year. Uh, you know, depending on visa situations and what we can get going on right now. You know, determining who we are going to have representing LDA for at Final Round in, uh, next year. So, um, congratulations to everyone at Final Round. It was a very entertaining final with Infiltration, Tokido, uh, Haitani, and uh, Mago, etc. That was, was very entertaining. And good to say Fudo and Sonic Fox and some other people playing. Despite the fact that I am, you know, busy with heavy, you know, busy, I do casually follow the fighting game scene and what's going on. So, um, I am aware of a lot of these other things you may not have thought. You may have thought I have not been aware of. You see me wearing the Latin American Cup 2011 t-shirt. Because, again, um, I think it is very important that we bring Latin American Cup back. I'm going to try everything within my power to bring it back this year, not early next year, and then get it on a regular circuit basis. Um, I really think uh, that could be one of our key things. You know, giving Peru its uh, the Latin American Cup back because those are it's very high-quality matches. And this time, making it, you know, not just 2002, but going to the other games, like 2002 UM, 98, uh, KOF 13, KOF uh, 14 when it comes out. You know, doing the, uh, spreading it out some, because I think it'll be very, uh, that could be, that area's real big yearly event, Latin American Cup. Because it started off on fire in 2011, and it's still on fire. I'm still getting a lot of comments. So, um, I'm going to work very hard to try to bring that back this year. Or, or not end of this year or early next year. That's one of my biggest goals is to bring Latin American Cup back because I think it'll be good. I look at it like SBO is gone. Latin American Cup can be the Latin American region uh, version of SBO. And it can come back and it'll be that. Uh, we've got other plans for other countries, you know, like Argentina as well. But I won't go into that right now. I'm going to just stick to the stuff that you all know about, which is Latin American Cup. I will reveal plans for other countries as that time comes. So don't worry. Everyone will get their chance. Um, Diaz will be leaving to Dubai uh, tomorrow. So um, <laughs> that's going to kick off. There's still a lot of videos from Argentina left to be uploaded. Don't worry. Those are going to get uploaded. Okay. But um, we, Diaz is going to be in Dubai. So we also wish him the best of luck. And he might be doing an interview video shortly uh, about stuff from Dubai. So um, Cesar Dash is also in, Peru, in, uh, in uh, Ecuador right now for Dia Diego's birthday bash. So... Um, we hope that that's going well. They're just enjoying themselves. We will do their stuff with Ecuador later. We have a big plan for that as well. But he is there right now. So really, that's an addition to all this other stuff. It's a very, very, very busy week. Past two weeks for us. Very busy. So I can't remember being this busy in regards to activity. Um, and then, like I said, we shrunk up five. So it's a lot of stuff going on right now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly translate to Spanish. And that will be the update for the week. Um, buenas tardes a todos. No sé si ustedes um, vieron la el stream de Street Fighter 5 uh, o 5 con el final round donde ganó Infiltration versus Tokido. Uh, me sorprendió la calidad de las retas de Super de Street Fighter 5. Street Fighter 5 se ve más rápido. No, no se ve muy lento como se vio en las betas, ¿verdad? En el principio. Ahora se ve muy rápido. Entonces yo digo, ah, ok, bueno. Es un, un, es un, es un juego que se puede you know, jugar muy rápido. Entonces es algo que. Uh, muchos latinos por jugar, ¿verdad? <ríe> Entonces, um, me sorprendió y me empecé de empezar sin duda que hay que 
traer o regresar el Latin American Cup a Perú y enfocarnos en este proyecto de este año. Entonces es, es, es algo que yo quiero empezar este año. Sin duda, yo quiero que Latin American Cup regrese este año, al principio del año próximo. Uh, y esta vez yo quiero que regrese con, con uh, 2002, con 2002 UM, con 98, con COP13, con Tekken Tag Tournament 2, otros juegos así. Y porque es, puede ser el, el torneo, uh, no sé, el torneo más grande para de esta región, ¿no? De Perú. Y es lo que creo yo. Um, quiero decir que el 10 ya va a, a, a Dubai, el 22. Mañana creo. Entonces, buena suerte a él. Hay muchos videos de la Argentina que le falta de 200 UM. Pero también él y, y va a estar en Dubai. Entonces, tengan un pa, poco de paciencia para regresar. Subir lo que falta de, de Argentina y a ver lo de Dubai también. Um, también César Dash está en Ecuador para el, el cumpleaños de, de Diego. Está en Quito um, jugando algo así. No es algo súper formal como torneo. Pero es algo para celebrar el cumpleaños de Diego. Vamos a planear las cosas más tarde de torneo, etc. Um, y también es muy, muy probable que Luis Chávez va a estar en Pichón Cup 5 y hay Karachi vs. Lahore esta semana, el, el jueves. Entonces, esta semana está muy, 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 no, no sé, pesado, bien pesado. Entonces, vamos a estar muchas cosas en camino esta semana y siguen atentos y van a hacer muchos videos. Eso es todo. Si ustedes tienen idea, ideas, y estoy pensando de ideas para hacer como, no sé, para determinar quiénes deben ser los representantes oficiales de cada país para Latin American Cup. Y cómo empezar de organizarlo por, you know, para este año o el próximo. Entonces, si ustedes tienen ideas para hacer torneos de calificar, calificaciones o algo así, por favor, avíseme. Quiero, quiero oír sus ideas. Porque yo quiero que Latin American Cup siga y que se crece y regrese. Y que sea algo que pasa cada año. Entonces, esto es casi todo para el momento. De, um, que ustedes tengan un buen día. Y a ver lo que pasa con Coco Co Co 14, porque con Coco 14 se ve muy bien, ¿verdad? Se ve bien por el momento, vamos a ver lo que pasa, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso es todo. Gracias por escuchar y que tengan un buen día.